Hey everybody, welcome back to Fallout 4 Heavy Weapons Only. I'm Super Twonky, and last time we took out Kellogg, which means the Brotherhood of Steel have arrived in all their glory. We will definitely be joining them in the near future, because Tegan's shop is really good. So, yeah, and I, th I am level 35, which means... Sentry bots and other like high-level enemies have spawned across the map. One of them being Reggie Plataria. And I've heard that he whether or not he has a minigun or a Gatling laser depends on whether or not the Brotherhood of Steel have arrived. I don't know if you have to have joined the Brotherhood of Steel for him to have the Gatling laser or not. But just in case, I'm gonna try to avoid him. Which is a little tricky because that's the path I normally take. Um, so what I kind of want to do is just head up straight north to Sanctuary so I can get the harpoon gun again. And I want to make some upgrades to it now that I have gun nut 3. I think we can put a scope and the top level uh, harpoon type. And that'll probably replace the minigun because I feel like after going through Fort Hagen, the minigun really feels like it's kind of dropping off in power level. Maybe if we find a legendary one at some point, I'll give it another go. But for now, yeah, we're going to head up to Sanctuary, and then we need to go back and talk to Nick in Diamond City to complete the Reunions quest and finally get over to Good Neighbor so we can start... Um, the, the memory den sequence and main reason for that is to get Curie, Curie's quest going. So yeah, with all that talking out of the way, let's get a move on and head up north. Just kind of looting the red rocket here and there's normally some kind of battle going on nearby. I'm kind of surprised I'm not hearing gunshots right now and I really didn't need to grab that hammer, but oh well. Is that something? Huh. Okay, weird. Guess there's just nothing here this time. I'm almost certain the dogs are gonna find me though, right? Oh, yeah. They're right there. One of them was a legendary. Assassins. Oh, wait. I don't have the carry weight for that. Unless I want to use drugs, but. I mean. I'm only really using power armor anyway. Well, you know what? I'm gonna take it with me. Why not? Let's pop a buff, Tats. Um, the reason I'm grabbing it is because it has the Assassin's perk, and I don't know if I'll try it on this character, but I have heard that Assassins can help prevent damage to you from your own explosives. So I kind of want to test it out. Um, not sure if I ever actually will, but... Oh, Settler. Hey. Settler and lead, we gotta help him out. Hey there. Please, do you have any rat away? Sure. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Alright. We can spare rat away, for sure. And this, I think, is the minefield. Yep. <laughs> oh, the timing on that was perfect. Um... I am using explosive shielding, so we can probably... We can probably just run through here. <laughs> oh, another legendary. Fantastic. I think we're going to want to use the flamer on Meyer Lurks. The Sergeant Ash. Yeah. 
because it cannot move now. Let's see what it had. Alright, well that, that I don't care about. Oh, that is a Yagwai. No, oh, you get crippled. You get crippled now. Might as well discover this place. Not sure if we'll ever actually clear it out, but possibly. Alrighty, so here we are back in Sanctuary. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to do some inventory stuff, uh, rework my loadout a little bit, and then we'll head off from here. You're tied to this place, kid. Your energy. I used to live here. A long time ago. Ah, but the distant past ain't so distant for you. I saw you leave that icebox. Uh-huh. The site can help you, kid. It always has answers. Uh-huh. No. You're an addict. You need help. Oh, not this again. Kid, listen to me. I'm old. Even older than you'd think. If the chems are gonna kill me, then I say I've had a good run. We'd have never made it this far without the sight. The sight isn't worth killing yourself over, Mama Murphy. It doesn't have to define what you are. Or All right, kid. You got me. If me hanging around for a little longer is worth that much to you, then I'll go clean. The sun is setting. Make sure to stay warm. All right, we got Mama Murphy off the chems. I'd say that's a, that's a good deed. I'm also swapping to uh, this clothing item too as my charisma gear. Uh, <laughs> I was getting a little tired of the summer shorts. They looked a little bit too silly. Alright, so with the Admiral's friend, let's upgrade this to the barbed harpoon. Uh, harpoon that causes bleeding? Seems good to me. Interesting though that its range isn't as good as the normal harpoon. Huh. I'll give it a try anyway. And let's put a short scope. So this will kind of act as almost just like a sniper. And we did just level up. So. Let me see what I want to get now. I'm just going to go ahead and get Lone Wanderer out of the way for when we no longer have a companion with us. Because we're not going to be using Kiri forever. And there isn't anything right now that's too pressing. So. Okay. And then we'll head off. We'll try to get down to Diamond City without running across Reggie Blataria. Because I'd rather have him not actually, not actually spawn just yet. You blow flies on the way. Okay, let's see how this scope works out. Well, I guess if they move right before you shoot. It doesn't. Okay. Gotta get used to using this gun again.
I thought they were... Yeah, there's mongrels around here too. Um, I don't really care about them though. They're leaving me alone right now, so I'll return the favor. My systems are eager to absorb oh, and I almost ran right into... Right into the uh, behemoth. Which I could probably kill. But I'm not sure if I... I don't know. I'll just leave him alone. <laughs> and we'll have some sting wings in here. I think. Yes. I hear them now. Where's the other one? Oh, there it is. It seems to be stuck. And we can get another fusion core from right here. I swear I used vats and didn't pick up anything. That mine had to have been under the ground. Right? I don't know, was I blind? Or was that thing just not actually there? Huh. Hey, some fighting going on. Who do we got up here? Super mutants? Against possibly raiders? Okay. I feel like the scope might not be helping as much as I hoped it would. I guess, well, that guy got hit. Who knows? See if we can get this guy. Yeah. Oh. Guess he wasn't alone. Hey, the bleed damage worked. All right. Oh, you know what I planned on doing? I forgot, and we're kind of back in this area near Fort Hagen again somehow. Is... Oh, it's Brotherhood. Cool. Is I want to do the... I want to clear out Fiddler's Green and get the magazine there because Kiri is going to have several speech checks for me. And, hey, a little extra experience for passing them. Couldn't hurt. Here we go, just up here. Let's take down some ghouls. And we'll get the one sleeping. few more. Yeah, I saw that coming. Unlock this. Hardly ever get to unlock this thing. I think there's power armor in here too. T60, baby. Um, can I carry it? Let's find out. Sure can. Oh, we're gonna have to upgrade some of that. Nice. Uh, 
let's get the rest of these guys too. Wondering if we get a legendary. And a sharp. Oh, that's not bad. get in the way like that. Okay. Got them all taken care of. And yeah, I do still have the mini gut on me right now. Um, I was planning on just storing it probably in Hangman's Alley instead of up in Sanctuary. And here's our Perfect. Live and Love magazine. More XP from Persuading Women. Okay, now we're actually heading over to Diamond City. Um, that sounded like a death claw. Right? Didn't that sound like a death claw? Not sure what's going on. Okay. Let's just, let's just go. Guess we'll get some more red stag meat. Uh, Death Claw. All right, Sergeant Ash, go to work. Yep. Okay. guy has a never-ending institute rifle. Um, it's worth some money, sure. I just drop some stuff off at Hangman's Alley and we'll just keep on going to Diamond City. Darling, are you sure about this? got nothing better to do? I am not a normal girl. My dear, you're perfect. I only wish I had realized that sooner. Then by the power invested in me, I pronounce you man and wife. All these years, I never realized how much she meant to me until she said something. Well, that, that was great. Well, well, speak of the devil. You're back. I'm not with your son. You were right, Nick. Kellogg did have my son. I already have someone with me. I'll meet you there, Nick. All right. Right. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Ah, uh, well, you two are- Uh-huh. Okay. So, I think I'm just gonna decide to skip that, edit it out of the video. 
It's a part of the main quest, it's kind of a long conversation. Basically, the gist is... No one, no one knows how to get in or out of the Institute, but they feel like Kellogg may have had access. However, that doesn't do us any good because we killed him. But, maybe if we had a piece of his brain, the doctor at the memory den could uh, analyze it to figure something out. And we just happened to grab those cybernetics off of Kellogg. So, that's kind of it in a nutshell, just in case there's anyone who uh, isn't familiar with the main quest of Fallout 4. Oh, and why am I going up here? We need to do some shopping. So here at Arturo's, we're actually going to make a a pretty big purchase. We're buying the big boy. The fat man that has the uh, extra projectile effect on it. Um, so yeah, I'm selling him a bunch of stuff. I think I might run down to Hangman's Alley real quick, find some more stuff that I can sell to Arturo. Arturo, because I do want to buy more ammo off of him as well. So let's go ahead and complete the sale. And then run down to Hangman's Alley before my great Mentats wears off. Okay, buying a bunch of more ammo off of Arturo and getting my caps back. So I went ahead and uh, fixed up the or upgraded the T60 helmet. So I'm rocking that right now. Um, I didn't do the other pieces because then it wouldn't be symmetrical, which is kind of a silly reason, but I don't know. <laughs> I still wanted it to not look like a total hodgepodge of stuff. And I know we're going to be getting a full set of T60 fairly soon when we join the Brotherhood of Steel. What? Who's there? Someone shooting at me? Oh, it's this little area. Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. Molotovs? Come on, bruh. Oh, I guess I never dealt with the raiders over there. Well, if they're gonna shoot at me, then maybe I will. take these guys out. They're being kind of a nuisance. That was a lot of damage. This guy. Ooh. Oh, did he fall down? Yeah, he totally fell down. Yeah, let's go in and take out the rest of them. Identity unknown. There is a lot 
We got. On going down the road. Can we explore? Yes. Could not locked at all. Oh wait, you did this. Okay, made it to good neighbor after fighting those raiders. And for this, I don't think I can wear power armor. So. I need to make sure that I'm not over encumbered. Yeah, I'll have to store some stuff here. And we're good. Head into the memory den. Just head down here, talk to the doctor. Dr. Amari? Yes. Wait, I know you. You're in the railroad. What's this all about? Doctor, it's time for you to reverse death itself. What? Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse. Sure. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amon. Fine. Uh-huh. Could you say that like Dr. Frankenstein? Ego, fetch me the brain. No? No. I will not. Now, do you have it? Here's what I could find. What's this? This is... That's the hippocampus. Yeah, those circuits look off. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen... Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation sin, but that's an incredible risk to take. Don't worry about me, Amon. We should try plugging you into a toaster next. Mmm, fresh toast. Uh, it's nice to know that even when I'm about to have a foreign object shoved into my noggin, you find new horrible ways to laugh at my expense. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine, just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be done. Feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. Tell me you have a way past this, Doc. Let me think. We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. He'll act as a host while your consciousness drives... Uh-huh. Nick and I are going to share a mind? Yeah, I'm not going to see him in any compromising positions, am I? If a smart mouth was all it took to solve problems, we would have found your son by now. Um, no. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. All right. I'm just going to end up skipping through this nice memory den sequence so you guys don't have to watch it. Oh, another physician. City? You're not serious, right? Slow movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? Next time I have to watch someone's life story, I want popcorn. Well, if you're cognizant enough to joke, I think we can safely say that you're out of critical condition. Are you ready to talk about- Uh-huh. There's more than one person who knows about the Institute. I didn't know Institute scientists could defect. Where did the memory say he was? That's why he's there. To that must be it. He's using the radiation and the glowing sea like... If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. Oh, I'm going in naked. Fingers crossed I get superpowers. I know you're joking, but at... So be sure you find a way to get through there with... By the way... I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Okay, so, um, I was actually concerned I wouldn't be able to complete that quest because Kellogg was frozen in the final room. 
I had to go interact with him and listen to his dialogue, and fortunately that unstuck things, but I was worried we were going to lose a lot of progress there. But anyway, yeah, basically we just found out that uh, Kellogg was assigned to find a scientist named Virgil in the Glowing Sea, uh, who had defected from the Institute. And we saw one of their coursers using teleportation, which kind of solves the mystery of how the Institute gets in and out of their, uh, their base. Doctor, my friend here needs your help. Oh? I'm not a mechanic. What could she possibly want from me? Oh, this doctor can help me? Greetings, doctor. I wish to download my data and core programming into a human brain. You... you want what? Is she serious? Curie has a lot of pre-war research data, but she can't continue her important work as a robot. Why not? There are fundamental limitations in my robotic systems. I have no capacity for the human trait of inspiration. I've never considered anything like you're proposing. It's an interesting problem. The memories wouldn't be hard. We translate those from the brain to computers and back all the time here. It's how the loungers work. Her personality, though, all the extra pieces of robotic program decision-making, a normal organic brain wouldn't know what to do with them. A synth brain, on the other hand, well, it's already somewhere between the two. You're not suggesting I won't kill a synth. I'm suggesting nothing of the kind. Allow me to explain. I've worked on synths before, giving them memory wipes so they can live a life free of the Institute. But the procedure isn't always successful. If something goes wrong, it can leave them in a brain-dead state. Living, but with no cognition. I know a caretaker for one of these brain-dead synths. If they're willing, we could try transferring your friend's consciousness into her. I'd like to try. We just need her caretaker's consent. Give me a day to get in contact with them. They are understandably cautious. But I think they'll hear me out. I will stay with the doctor. Assuming all goes well, I want to be ready for the procedure. The caretaker should get back to me soon. She's not one to wait. Okay, so we're leaving Kiri with Dr. Amari. And we'll just have to wait a little while to hear back from them. And uh, yeah, let's go talk to Nick now. Nick. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. Nick, are you still in there? What? What are you talking about? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so... Let's get going, Nick. Been one heck of a ride so far. Okay. So we've got Nick with us for a very specific reason. And that is, we need Nick Valentine with us, or any companion that can use power armor, to complete the USS Constitution mission. Okay, so we're gonna have Nick wear this power armor that I bought last time. I was worried that Drifter was going for this set. <laughs> that would have been bad. All right, looking good there, Mr. Valentine. Let's head over to the Constitution. Okay, as always, there's fighting going on as soon as we leave, good neighbor. So the tricky part about the final... final part of the uh, Constitution quest line is if the scavengers are able to path up here and make it to the hatch they will board the ship and then you have to fight them you have then you have to board the ship and fight a bunch of scavengers and that's just not a lot of fun to do so here's what we're gonna do for you wait there I'll stay put heads up I'm listening go ahead I need you to get out of your power armor sure thing 
Well, let's get Nick out of his power armor. And then what we'll do is we'll put the power armor right here on the stairs. And take the fusion core out. So now, the raiders are not going to be able to get up to that hatch. Because they won't be able to get past the power armor. Alright. Hopefully that works. I've heard that it does. I've never actually tried it myself. And yeah, let's get in here and install those turbo pump bearings. We might as well grab another Covert Ops magazine. Turbo pump has been installed, and now we get to go talk to Ironsides. Hey, Captain. Trim the power on the starboard bow. Steady as she goes, Mr. Navigator. Luck willing, at long last, we'll set sail. Our hero of the hour is to thank. You've earned a double share, sir. Well done. My pleasure. You are truly worthy, sir, of witnessing our maiden voyage. Our twin NX-42 rockets will alight and then moor us from this dreaded savings and loan. The Constitution will launch into the heavens and after, gently land in the ocean. Then we take our rightful place as defenders of the Atlantic. That's ambitious. As they say, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Mr. Navigator, put her through her paces. We need to... Those motherless curs! Prepare to front... Alright, and this is a big reason why I got the harpoon gun upgraded. So we can snipe these guys. At least that's the idea. they're firing missiles at me. I think I'll be fine though, the missiles... Um, I've got the explosive shielding on my power armor. I don't think I've hit anything so far. <laughs> oh, that was a legendary scavenger. get a stim pack going and yeah I just still want to make sure I'm not hitting the robots Oof. Oh, dang it he moved They ended up breaching the ship after all. Shoot, I really thought that would have stopped them. Okay, I guess we'll have to go take care of them. Okay. So I have had a permadeath run end in this very location, which is why you might see me be abundantly cautious here. <laughs> I'm gonna hope that the robots the lower deck. Middle deck. can... I'm hoping the robots can uh, take out as many of them as possible. And I still need to be careful not to hit any of the robots myself.
think we'll use Vats here. Still over here? Man, there's so many. the rest of them. Still more. My goodness. What? The? what? Where are you guys coming from? Alright, it seems like maybe they finally gave up. I guess my genius plan did not work at all, <laughs> but we made it through fairly unscathed. Uh, really glad I'm using the explosive shielding on my power armor, because we Get took up, a few grenade hits, and there's still this guy. I'm gonna head out here, and because I know there was at least one legendary. What the heck? I was gonna say, because I know there's at least one legendary scavenger out there. Jeez, I was not expecting that. Um, so let's go check the bodies. Man, I really thought this would stop them from getting up here. Maybe I would have needed to be down on the ground for that to work. Wait, what's that? Here? Oh, 
Mandy's still hostile. You want some of this, Mandy? What's up? going into the wall. Okay. Hey, you're the one that attacked me. We're gonna talk about just leaving people alone. There we go, finally. I think this was the legendary scavenger. And uh, it's crap. But it's worth something. Okay, talk to Ironsides after all of that. The borders are repelled. All hands, prepare ship for launch. Congratulations, Captain. There is one thing. We need power from the auxiliary generator to commence our voyage. Here I must call upon you one last time. Consider it done. I admire your pluck. Here is your amply deserved reward. God speed to you, sir. And there we go, the broadsider. <laughs> we are definitely going to be using this gun. Oh yeah. Also, I'm not sure what happened to Nick Valentine. Mr. Navigator, slowly throttle the engines. It would be he kind of funny if he was like on the boat. But, yeah, I don't know where he went. Hoy soldier! Ready for our auxiliary power! Power nominal? Excellent. Commencing final countdown. Three. Two. One. Mr. Navigator, light the engines! Credit savings and loan. We shall be more no Okay. Helm reports we are a quarter fathom closer to the Atlantic. By my calculations, in a mere century we will tink to the ocean. Well done. Alright, USS Constitution is complete. Oh wait, I told him to stay, didn't I? Oh, whoops. Heads up. Come on. I'm all ears. The Commonwealth's nodded. Alrighty. Well, I think that's a good place to end it right there, with the Constitution questline completed, and a sweet new heavy weapon for us to try out the Broadsider. So I am definitely looking forward to that. Thank you so much for watching, and yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.